the Catholic Church speaks. So my beloved Kenyans, my beloved people of God, we the Catholic bishops continue our weekly engagement as we move closer to the general elections in August this year. We bring to you a message of hope that if each one of us does his or her part responsibly, we shall hold peaceful general elections. This week, our concern touches on the very essence of our Christian witness rooted in our faith in God, and that is care for one another and especially for the feeble or the weak in our society. In concrete terms, we want to address the demands of human welfare. These demands are closely connected to the cost of living, which is touching every citizen in this country. However, we take consolation in the encouragement of St. Paul in the following words. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not, in, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We are calling on all politicians and people seeking elective positions to flag and address the current economic crisis for the common people, for the common Kenyans. It's indeed surprising that while drought and hunger loom in our borders, the increase in the price of the most basic foods and items is hiked and hiked to almost double and yet the government and most of the political aspirants are silent about it. It is not enough to decry it. We need to hear solutions and how the new leaders will cushion the poor in this economic crunch. We are in concerned that this situation may be used for, uh, by, by aspirants to exploit the sufferings of others for personal gains. We believe that the outgoing elected leaders would have done much more in putting in place mechanisms to mitigate the effects of the perennial droughts now severe in parts of our country. We run the risk that leaders who will be elected in different elective positions may follow the same trend whereby they do not attend to the well-being of the poor and destitute, but focus on themselves at increasing their salaries. Those seeking election or elective positions should tell us their specific plan to lower cost of living in order to improve the, economic, the economy without deflecting responsibility by finger pointing or blaming external factors. They need to commit not to increase the salaries. Let us be simply moved by the care of our poor brothers and our poor neighbors. As our Lord Jesus Christ taught, in the great commandment of love, if your neighbor is hungry, offer him or her something to eat. I was hungry and you gave me to something to eat. So says the Lord in Matthew 25, verses 35 to 40. Many Kenyans are hungry. The cost of living is rising. Inflation is soaring. And all of us are called to come to the aid of our neighbor. However, the leaders, both national and county, by their office and responsibility, should go out of their way more to do so. We urge the national government to move with speed 
to lower the prices of basic commodities like maize flour, maize and beans, cooking fat, kerosene, so that families can afford to meet their basic needs. Kenyans need an urgent intervention from the county and the national governments now. The Catholic Church speaks 